Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat, and today I'm reading a whole lot of 16-bit Trader to you in the first five minutes of the game. You are the child of a humble merchant in the kingdom of Asavala, but as your 21st birthday approaches and you are awaited for your father's return from a trip to the Northlands, instead you received word of his death. Okay. It all suddenly became clear how Von Talad, the richest merchant in the kingdom, didn't invite your father to do business together out of kindness. He wanted to use him as a pawn. Thus, you have vowed to take vengeance on Von Talad to take his place as the richest merchant in the kingdom, thus fulfilling your father's dream of being invited to parties. This will not be easy as you need to gather at least a lot of gold to accomplish this, but you feel the fate. That fate is on your side. Okay. Ah, I think we did it. All right, Zintaka, whatever that is. There is an exchange office in every big city. There you can buy new carts and sell diamonds if you have them. Remember that you can also meet someone to cha charge you with a lucrative quest. Visit the exchange and sell the two diamonds you have left from your family home. Ooh, goodbye diamonds. Let's do that. Click. Ooh, no, there it is. Marketplace is a place to buy and sell goods. Monitor prices carefully and remember the minimum and maximum price for each article. Buy cheap, sell expensive, ideally. Remember some of the goods will only be available to you after you earn the right reputation. Okay, remember that. I think we can do that. We have 30 gold right now. Uh, let's see, that's the, we have nothing. <laughs> and an empty cart. Zero, 500 grams, and those are the prices. There is an exchange office in every... Wait, I s already read that. Okay, wrong place. Ah, uh, yes. Let's... Diamonds. Here we go. Take my diamonds. Give me your gold. Yeah, we'll sell them. Goodbye, money. Or, hello, money. Goodbye, diamonds. Did I sell them both? Yeah, I guess so. I must have two people to buy another cart. I only have one. Blast. That's me. Or, now you have one man. Is that me? My dear fellow, I heard you travel a lot. Well, it seems that I have left a small chest behind when visiting Hittikor recently. So would you be a good chap and pick it up for me? I'll be glad to support you with some gold. Sweet! Gold support. And side quests. In a tavern, you can hire helpers or even try to untie the tongues of its frequently frequenters by buying them beverage, in quotes. The rumors you might hear can considerably help you. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Aha. They just want me to give money to the tavern, perhaps. Gankolod, Lytha, and Vertulio. Okay, here. Have a, have a cheap beer for one something. Have you heard that in the ruins of the old city one can see lights in the night? and hear voices singing. No, no, it's not true that it's the curse and the poisonous fumes. No, I really heard them calling my name. They were calling out. Here, bucko, have another beer. Just kidding. That was helpful. You can slide the map with your mouse. Neat. The place is you can go to are marked with green indicators. Remember, never follow your trace back and travel to places you have just visited. Huh. Prices will soon even soon even in those towns. Also, please note that hiring a higher number of mercenaries will save you from some unpredicated unpred events. Unpredicted? Oh, blast. The map helps you decide where to travel. Remember, you do not need to carry any goods to travel. If articles are expensive in one place, it is better to travel with an empty cart than to buy high and lose your money on that transaction. Okay, that seems reasonable, given the ability to know what's coming. Stats, and I can save an exit. That sounds good. No, let's keep going. Not quite there yet. Quest log, go to Hytukor to retrieve the stuff. So that is my only quest, not a side quest. The indoor, and oh, I have some options. Ooh, east or south. They're both green and town-like. Kastukir. 
its inhabitants are renowned to be the most beautiful and laziest people ever seen on the face of the earth. How they manage to survive without work is a mystery. A beautiful one. Oh, who knows? All right, that's been five minutes, folks. We're going to call it there. That was a lot of reading, also called 16-Bit Traveler. If you like merchant games and traveling games and reading games, this is probably for you. Thanks for watching.